Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial our topic is permutations. So what are permutations? Permutations are nothing more than just the arrangements of different objects in which the order is very important. When we say order is really important means which object is coming first and which coming second and so on. So that means order really matters. So next thing we will be talking about factorials. Factorials. Factorials are always denoted by exclamation sign or by just this kind of box. When I say, uh, let me give you example, three factorial could be represented by this one or simply three with this box. Now, three factorial, if I say find the value of three factorial, that's going to be simply what? You put down three times, make one less, two times, make one less again, one. So that is going to be what? Three times two times one is going to be what? Six. So three factorial is six. Look at on the right hand side example. So 5 factorial is what? 5 factorial could be written as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And if you multiply it, you're going to get what? 120. And one more thing, just keep in your mind, always very crucial, 0 factorial is always equals to 1. Now let's move on our next problem, problem number 1. In how many ways can you arrange the letters of the word mathematics? So the very first step is this one. Look at how many total letters are in word mathematics. Count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You put down 11 over here. Next thing what I want you to do is I want you to see how many letters are repeating themselves. M is repeating what? Twice. So put down 2. Once again, A is repeating again twice. I want you to put down twice. And likewise, T is showing up twice. So put down T equals to what? 2. Next step. I want you to put down total number, which is what? 11 with the factorial sign divided by C, how many of them are repeating A and M and T. So M is repeating twice, so you put down for M two factorial, for A two factorial again, times two factorial for T. Now let's go ahead and simplify these factorials and we're going to get our answer. So 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by, look at this thing, 2 factorial by the way. 2 factorial is same as what? 2 times 1 which is same as 2. So I can write this as a 2. The next 2 factorial could be written as times 2 and then 2 factorial times 2. Now what I want you to do is on the numerator multiply all these numbers out. Use the calculator. So what is going to be that one? So that is simply is going to give you what? 3, 9, 9, 1, 6, 8, 0, 0 divided by 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Let's go ahead and divide these one out. So our complete answer is going to be what? 4, 9, 8, 9, 600 or simply you can put down 4 with a common million, 9, 89,600 and that is our answer to word problem number one. 
Now let's move on to our word problem number two. In how many ways the letters of the word mathematics can be arranged so that the vowels are always together. So you have to be careful over here. I have already put vowels over here as you can see shaded one together. So this is just one group. I want to call it vowel group over here. And these are your consonants are now put separately. So the very first thing again, the way we did before, we want to put down how many total these uh, groups are, okay? So the, the letters, so how many? So this vowel is just one group. So do not look at four, it is just one. So this is going to be one, M is going to be two, T, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we're going to have a eight. Now we're going to put it down like this one over here. Our next step is going to be, I want you to put down eight, the total on the top, divided by, now ask yourself, are there any num any of these letters, they are repeating themselves. M is repeating itself and T is repeating itself as well. So that means 2 factorial for M times 2 factorial for what? T. Again, times now. Now you're going to be focusing on vowel group right now. So vowel group has how many letters inside it has four. I want you to put down four factorial divided by within that group. Do you see any vowel that repeats itself? Yes, A. So A is repeating twice, so I'm going to put down two factorial. So in other words, right now, over here, right now, you can see that one. So this over here, this part belongs to what? Vowel group. So now, once again, the next step is I want you to go ahead and simplify this part first. So 8 factorial could be written as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 factorial could be written as 2 times 2 and then times over here and then on this one over here vowel group is what 4 factorial could be written as what 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 factorial is 2 right now over here once you Simplify this part over here, everything over here, the one that circle first multiply and divided by 2 times 2 is 4. We're gonna get what? We're gonna get 1, 0, 0, 8, 0, and then times. Now let's take care of this part over here. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2. That is going to give you, obviously, that's going to give you 12. Go ahead and multiply them out. And that is going to give you 1, 2, 0, 9, 6, 0. That means 120,960. And that is our answer. Now, let's move on to our example three, which is called word problem number three. In how many ways the letter of the word mathematics can be arranged so that the vowels are never together? So be careful, never together is same as writing what? So let me just go ahead and explain it to you. When there are vowels, never, together is same as the total number of these ways you can write mathematics. Go ahead and write down total number of ways 
minus and then the vowels, the total number of ways the vowels are together. So vowels are together. They are together. So if you look at this thing, total number, that was our word problem. That was our word problem number one. And this was our word problem number two. We just took care of that one. So let's go ahead and do that one. When we say total number means was what? 11 factorial on the top divided by what? 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial for this one over here. I want you to just put down like this one minus on the vowels are together when we did this thing was what? 8 factorial divided by what? 2 factorial times 2 factorials times we did 4 factorial over 2 factorial. If you look back on those word problems number 1 and 2, you can see that one. Now what we're going to do is right now we already found the answer to word problem number 1. That was how much? 4, 9, 89, 600 and then minus this portion we found out 120,900 and what? 60. We're going to just subtract that one and we're going to see what we got. We got how much? 4, 8, 6, 8, 6, 40. And that is your answer. These are many different ways we are going to do that one. And finally now, that's the last problem of this video is what problem number four. In how many ways the, tot the letters of the word mathematics can be arranged so that the consonants and vowels are always together. So now as you can see there are two shaded part. I have already put them different shades. That is your group one. That is I'm going to be calling vowels. And this part we will be calling what? Consonants part over here. So we have a two entities, two groups. So when you're going to start off you're going to just simply put down only two factorial because we have a two groups times. Now we're going to be focusing on our vowel group. How many letters are in vowel group? There are four of them. I'm going to put down four factorials and ask yourself, are there any letters that repeat themselves? Yes, A repeats how many times? Two times. So I'm going to put down two factorials for A. And then times over here. So I want you to put down times over here. Look at the consonants. Consonants, you see how many consonants are over there. There are how many? Count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I want you to put down 7 factorial right up here. And again, ask yourself, are there any letters that they are repeating themselves? Yes, of course, M and T, they are repeating twice. So for M, you put down two factorial times two factorial for T. And now we're going to go ahead and simplify these problems over here. That's not bad. So once again, I just want to make sure this part is two factorial for both of them separate entities, vowels and consonants. And this is for what? So this is for, this is going to be for both vowels and consonant. This is going to be for what? Vowels. And this thing is going to be for what? 
consonants. Okay, so just keep in your mind right now. Let's go ahead and simplify. 2 factorial is same as 2 times 4 factorial could be written as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 factorial is same as 2 times 7 factorial could be written as 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 divided by 2 factorial is same as 2 times 2 factorial is same as 2. Let's go ahead and now simplify these one. So this is 2 times, once you simplify this part over here, that is going to give you how much? That's going to give you 12 times. If you simplify this whole thing, that is going to give you 1260. And when you multiply 2 times 12 times 1260, that's going to give you 30,240. And that is your complete answer. Thanks for watching. Bye.